Guys, I have a small Dollar Tree haul for you. And when I say small, I mean small. I know sometimes I say that and it's huge, but I don't have many things in front of me. I literally just had to run in because I have a birthday party today. Oh, sneak peek of something from my Target haul that I just filmed. Um, but anyway, so I had to go in for gift bag and tissue and cards. You guys are going to see that. And while I was there, of course, I pick up a few more things. I am working the summer program at school right now. I work at a school and we have a summer program for our kids and they have been loving bubbles during recess time. So I will say the outdoor summer stuff at Dollar Tree is starting to dwindle. I already see school supplies coming in. I already see fall stuff coming in, which is crazy. It is literally only like July 15th today, I think, or 16th. But since I still saw these, I scooped them up. So of course they were $1.25 each. This is a name brand I usually see. I don't know if this is a newer name brand this summer, Outdoor Fun, but you cannot be a huge 32 fluid ounce a bottle um, of bubbles. And then I always buy the smaller ones because our kids have trouble handling these bigger ones. I work in special needs. So we usually just pour from here into these because it does save you a lot more money to buy it this way. So I bought the little ones. You get three for $1.25. And they also had the wands. So I grabbed these. And again, you get two for $1.25. So not bad. I actually, I'll show it quickly in here. I showed it in that Target haul. I did a Target slash Walmart haul. If I remember, I will link it down below. But I actually bought this on a rollback at Walmart for our kiddos. They are going to love it. Because I even said in that video, I felt bad. Like during COVID time, we had to wear masks. Um, they just lifted that in like March. But we were unable to blow the bubbles for them. And some of them really struggled to blow their own bubbles. So we were trying to have them like wave it in the wind so that they could have bubbles. So when I saw this on rollback, I think because all the summer stuff is slowly getting out of stores. This was regularly $25. This was on rollback for 12 um, I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I will link it down below. But this is a bubble machine. And I thought this was perfect. We put it on the ground at recess. And it, can, it does the bubbles for us. We don't have to do it. The kids don't have to do it. And I thought, I'm going to try this as a refill. It does say that you're supposed to use the gazillion name brand bubbles. Which are very expensive. But to me, bubbles is bubbles. If you guys have this and you use like a non-name brand bubble, please let me know. I'm very curious. But um, I bought this before i bought that so these will you know they can just enjoy these first and then as we run out of those we can probably use the big ones for that but like i said before if you don't have a bubble machine these still come in handy to refill these so that's it for bubbles i grabbed this container they have so many little organization containers right now um for the, like the back to school and section and stuff i got this for the school as well i like that it has little latches and the cover comes off um this is going to be for one of my case students um he has a lot a lot of materials uh, but they're like on the smaller side they're like index card size so this is going to be perfect i did have it in an index box holder and there's so much that the it doesn't even close because i have to have it organized so i have them separated by binder clips like for example like he's working on shapes so i have all the different shapes clipped together then he's working on colors i have all the different colors clipped together so with the binder clips that little index box holder is not enough the cover is not coming down so i figured this will be perfect to store all his materials so i grabbed that and then i always run into the food section just to see if there's any interesting like name brand finds because you will find them from time to time and i saw this i never buy the glad bags i know i see this in dollar tree holds all the time with thrifty tiffany you guys know i love thrifty tiffany but to me, a lot of times it's like eight bags or something stupid. And I'm like, what? I'd rather go buy it in bulk at like a Target or a Walmart. But I have heard that back to school, they do more quantity and it's a better deal. So she she's even said that before, that when it's like the back to school and it's the 22 bag, she'll be, buy like five. Um, I only just bought one, only because I really don't even need this right now. So, and I'm trying not to have too much stock of things because it's really hard. It's a lot harder to organize your home when you have more things. I'm sure you guys know that. But I said, wow, 22, I can't really pass that up. I'll buy at least one. And a little part of me is regretting that. I'm like, oh, too, you should go back and buy a few more. So I don't know. We'll see. If I come out a spot for it, maybe. And then I saw this leaping leopard apple cider vinegar. I know Thrifty Tiffany loves the leaping leopard brand that shows up at Dollar Tree all the time. I don't, I don't think it's a Dollar Tree brand. No, it's not. But it does show up at Dollar Tree a lot. She uses like the buffalo sauce and... I don't know, she's used many things. I think the teriyaki sauce. And she always says what a good brand it is. So when I saw the apple cider vinegar, and I do love vinegar. I use it a lot. Like, Joe loves it just on his french fries. I love it on my boiled eggs. <coughs> I do make a few recipes that 
need vinegar. Sometimes you need that little acidic kick. So I said, you know, for $1. twenty-five, she loves the brand. Why not try it? So I grabbed it. And then I grabbed this. I don't know if it was the best deal, but I said, you know what? I'm just going to get it. I used to buy these in bulk all the time. Um, I used to love these for breakfast. If you guys know, I say all the time, I never have time for a sit-down breakfast Monday through Friday. I wish I did. I wish I could wake up on my first alarm and be refreshed and do what I got to do and sit down and eat. But I always end up taking breakfast to go for years since I started working. So a lot of times I just grab a little yogurt, a granola bar, a banana, things of, those, of that nature. For a long time, I was on a kick with these. I was buying it in bulk in a big box, like 24 at Target. I forgot the name brand. I don't like straight applesauce. I will only do the ones that have mixed fruit in them. And I don't know. I haven't just bought it in a while. I've just been sticking with yogurt and a banana or a granola bar. Um, but then I saw these at Target. I mean at Target. At Dollar Tree. And it says no preservatives, gluten-free. They're 2.5 ounces each. No sugar added. It says these are like I am fruit. Like that is a... Um, Wanabana, like name brand, and these are mango and banana fruit parfait. They had the straight apple sauce one, and they had one that was pineapple. I'm not a big pineapple fan, so I just got one of these uh, for a dollar twenty-five to get three. I don't think that's awful. I do think four or five obviously would have been a better bang for my buck, but just wanted to try it. Maybe I'll get back to buying it in bulk again. See how I do with these, but those are so quick and easy to eat. Like, I would, I don't eat them on the road because I wouldn't do that and drive. But, you know, if you're someone who's really in a rush and you got to eat in the car, that's not a bad thing, I guess. And then the last three things to end up this haul, because like I said, it was a small one, was I saw this right at the register. It was a back scratcher. I do will say right now, I actually been using this because I have a sunburn on my back and my skin is starting to peel and it's so, so itchy. I used to have the one, I'm sure if you guys are avid Dollar Tree shoppers, you know what I'm talking about? It's like a bear claw. It's metal. I will say that one works a lot better. I think because it's metal, it doesn't really like bend. So you can really get deep in there. These are very strong plastic. I, you guys can see I'm really pushing it and it's not moving like crazy. But if you really want to get in there, it's not as good as the metal claw ones. They will start to like kind of move. Um, but I haven't been able to find my bear claw one. I don't know if it got lost in the move or what. And it does extend. So for $1.25 and you got a light scratch, there you go. And they had in a bunch of different colors. And then last but not least, like I said, I did go there for a birthday. So I just bought a birthday card. You cannot beat the cards at Dollar Tree. This is what most people go to Dollar Tree for. If you're not like an avid Dollar Tree shopper, you don't go into all the aisles. You're probably someone who buys the tissue paper, the bags, and the cards. Because we all know that is the best deal at Dollar Tree. Um, I like when they have the number one that's more personalized. The party I'm going to today, the person is turning nine. So I bought the one that says nine. I ended up buying two because it was two for a dollar. So I bought one for my mom. She's also going to the party. I got her a different nine one. But a lot of times, if I don't need to buy two cards, I'll still buy it. Because two for a dollar, you can't beat it. I will just throw it in a... I have like a box with cards and wrapping paper and gift bags. I will just throw it in that box. And I'm like, oh, next time I go to a party, I already have one. And then I am running low on my tissue paper um, stock. So I grabbed this one. They usually have the one with all the primary colors. I like that this one was more of... I don't know what you would call this. But it's just like almost like Easter colors to me. Like just a very like pretty color set so i bought these um the reason my tissue paper stock is getting low is because i just built beautiful shelves for my i guess i'm gonna call it my beauty room I don't, I don't see it as that way i have called rooms in the past beauty rooms because my vanity was in the room so to me it's like okay it's where i'm doing my hair it's where i'm doing my makeup my vanity is now my bedroom i'll be showing you guys tours really soon i have the whole month of august off but that is basically a spare room which i am making a walk-in closet and i have some beautiful bookshelves i bought on clearance at target and i am putting i'm displaying all my beautiful purses and i'm so excited for that but I noticed that the purses weren't really standing up straight. And I said, ah, fill them up. Let's fill them with tissue paper or newspaper, which newspaper is free. So I could definitely do that too. Um, if I can get some hands on some newspapers, cause I've, I've never gotten the newspaper. But anyway, figured I could crinkle it up inside. It'll stand up straight and look beautiful. I already did that with about a quarter of my purses. I still have quite a few purses to go. Cannot wait to show you guys that beautiful display and just do the room tours. But that is it for this video. If you guys like Dollar Tree, you like me, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell. Uh, like I said, you guys will be seeing room tours soon. I am starting to do vlogs. I do Mask Mondays. I do a book club. If you guys are into book clubs, you do that. I post those videos every Thursday. Mask Mondays are obviously on Mondays. I have really been branching out instead of just doing hauls. 
because I am trying to shop less. And instead of just doing like the, the Walmart haul and the Target haul, you guys are going to see it's because of this birthday party I'm going to. I'm really trying to limit like the items I am bringing into my home. I'm doing a lot better with that. Uh, so that's why I am doing different content for you guys. And it's been really fun and exciting. If you have any ideas, comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.